Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back. I got the Blackjack 42 out here at the speed run spot. All right, we're going to do a few few passes. Uh, it's a little breezy. I think it's wind against tide again. Uh, low tide. Uh, running the ZTW 200 with the TP4060. Okay, uh, it's a high KV motor, so it's kind of borderline set up. I've got the Hydra coming. So we're going to do one last run with the boat. I'm gonna do one last run with the boat. I'm gonna be running the SMC DV Extreme 6300 135C. Uh, I've got a water bottle here to cool down the ESC in between runs. I'll show you guys that. And uh, I've been working on my tugboat. What do you guys think? <laughs> I lost the hatch and I rebuilt one. It's kind of mid build, but I uh, just wanted to show you guys. So uh, stick around, Big B, with Ironclad RC. So I got everything hooked up. She's ready to roll, you guys. Um, got the GPS cleared out, okay? I fixed the back corner of the boat right here where I cracked it last time with some super glue. And then on the inside, I used uh, some um, carbon Kevlar epoxy, okay? So I'm gonna get it all taped up. All right, in between runs, we'll have to cool it down on 8S especially. Uh, with this cooling bottle, I'm going to take my nipple, my hoses off the nipple there and cool the ESC down, you know, gravity feed it. Alright, go get him buddy, got the CG pushed forward. My ease on up here. let the ripples cool down get the camera adjusted for you guys It's gonna be tough to get out. Oh, way over there, you guys. Oh man, right there. Oh, that's gonna be a tough one. And I gotta go in the freaking woods and get it. I'm gonna take you guys with me just in case something crazy happens. I've already had to go through here one time. See, I've cut a path out. Look at my path. This has happened before. I had that butch, that my crocodile Dundee knife out here. And I cut a path. I'm scared of alligators, but it's actually time for them to go in. Let's see what speed that was. Oh, it didn't sink. That was an adventure. It was all the way down at that wood pile over there. That was a hard crash. If this damn T-Rex tape pulled up, that was a hard crash. That was a hard, hard crash. That's T-Rex tape or something else. With a flip, with a flip. 89, 89 miles an hour with a flip, boys. 80 freaking nine. Holy shit. Holy shit. 89 miles an hour. Boom, boom. Huh? <laughs> 89, boys. 
down definitely the world's fastest blackjack now with a flip <laughs> had plenty of time to cool down 105 105 101 105 damn i didn't even need to get the xlx2 <laughs> holy shit All right, let's get that 89 cleared out. Everything's cool. Record, two, no water in the boat, only in the hatch right there. I got my SRD packs with me too, the 6S SRD packs. So we're gonna put the big prop on, on 6S, see what it does. All right. Temps were pretty good. Oh, I wish I would have checked the battery voltage. I don't have a low voltage protection on here. Oh man, 80 freaking 9 with a flip. I'm just gonna go. Linear throttle. Full trigger. To come off of it, it looked like it was lifting. When he throttle, full trigger. Came off of it, no power cuts. So that little 1716 that I modified has more load than this 1816. Ain't that something? The, and this is a stock prop that I've cut the leading edge down on, but it's an 1816 stock prop. The 1716, I modified the tips and it's uh, it has more load. It didn't power cut, not one time. Oh, a little bit of smoke. Ooh. Oh, no. Eighty-six. Eighty-six. A little bit of smoke. There's two runs back to back. 130. 149. 155. 119. The caps. 123. The motor's hot. 107. Oh, nothing over 150. Nothing over 159. Oh, the motor's like in the 150s. So the ESC is actually cooler than the motor. That's operating temps, you know? In one of my previous videos, I had mentioned running like big props or trying to get speed and you're having to wait for your boat to cool down. I was, um, I had mentioned using a, using a uh, water bottle to cool everything off. So what I'm going to do is, uh, hook up this water bottle okay and run water through my my esc you guys see that running water through the esc right now fresh water okay it'll go in the boat if, I, if i'm not careful here so let's see how how much this cools it off damn it's already down to 81 look at that you guys 78 82 it's already in the 80s 85 75 80 84 that's awesome 90 wow it works it works it works so so one of my subscribers had actually mentioned uh using a pump sprayer you know like a something you can pressurize so so you could just pump it up a couple times and let the water flow through without any you know attention uh this is a easy way i just used the dawn bottle you know uh my, my attempts as you guys seen there were already in the 80s so i'm gonna run, keep running it okay uh let's do the motor hopefully you guys will be able to see while i have my camera on my on my mount here so let's put that on the motor all right, and we can watch the, the temperature fall. Look at that. It's already at 84, 77 external temperature. 
you got to let some water run through it to get the internal temperature down you know don't let the external temperature fool you but it's actually doing the trick you guys it's cooling it off big time damn it's ice cold boys it's ice cold all right cool trick cool trick i'm gonna take the 6300s out and let's put the srds in with the 50 millimeter prop i want to try to get 80 on 6s okay let's do that all right i got the 50 millimeter prop on let's get this 86 cleared out record Eighty on six S, boys. Let's do it. I can't believe I got eighty nine, you guys. It's freaking insane, and it's breezy. A little chop on the water. This boat likes a little chop. I've noticed that. It don't like slick, calm water. It seems like it sticks down to the water. Oh, speaking of water, um, those of you who live up north, you know, and you guys may keep your your boat outside in your garage or something uh you, you may want to make sure you're you know winterize your boats make sure there's no water in the water jacket okay or your esc uh cooling plate you know make sure all the water's blown out of your lines and uh take your flex cable out winterize your boat take your flex cable out the boat you know make sure there's no water if you keep it indoors you don't have to worry about water so much you know but uh just kind of winterize your boat maybe spray some corrosion x or some kind of lubricant in your bearings if it's sitting all winter you know uh that way in the spring you come back you'll you'll be good to go you know all right so i think they're all settled down 80 mile an hour on 6s let's get it when you throw full trigger yeah going into that current you guys going into the current all right let's check everything out here oh no son of a bitch i give up i give up i give up I give up, you guys. I just cracked this damn boat. I just cracked it. I give up. I give up. I got the UL-19 in the car, but it's too rough to run it. I give up, you guys. I just ordered an XLX2 for this freaking hull. Man, I finally got this boat right. It's ruined. It's ruined. It's freaking ruined. Oh, it's ruined. Thank God it didn't get on my batteries. Oh, I'm glad I didn't turn around for another run. 85 on 6S, you guys, and I just ruined my boat. Oh, thank God. I'm licking it right now, and it's fresh water. It's low tide. Thank God. Thank God it's low tide. Thank you, Jesus. Fresh water. There ain't no fixing this all right well this is what happens when you go over 80 miles per hour with this boat this is what happens right here and there ain't no fixing that and it cracked it right there cracked the ride pad too how can i say this how can i say this um those of you who are getting a hydra okay um it's it's hard to keep a boat on the water at speed okay if you're getting the hydro or you're putting big power in your boat you know uh do your best to keep the boat on the water it's hard it's hard to keep a boat on the water at these speeds uh we're, we're reaching you know you gotta do everything you can to keep it on the water you guys and uh that's what happens you know you break your boat you know 
boats when they're hitting the water when the boat hits the water at speed it's like hitting concrete you know it's just like hitting concrete or or flipping in a field you know what i mean at 80 plus 70 plus miles per hour it, it'll destroy your boat it really will you guys and um you know uh I, i've i've basically kept this boat together with bubble gum and duct tape you know I reinforced the seam right here. I've cracked, I've basically cracked the whole seam around this boat, except for the transom and the front right here. And I've repaired it, you know, that's no big deal. Little, little cracks like this, little things like that. That's no big deal. It's time consuming, you know, but that's the price I'm, that's the price I'm willing to pay to go fast, you know, and kind of put on a show for you guys. I put on a freaking show, all right, huh? <laughs> oh man so um what do I, I got a hole i got a new hole on the way i got another black hole on the way okay um i'm gonna transfer all my hardware over to the new hull all the electronics we're gonna install the hydra in the new hull everything's basically pull off and drop in i shouldn't have to do many modifications we'll uh we'll install the trim tabs on the new hull you know and um, I'll just blueprint it whenever I get a chance. You know, that that's a bummer. This is one tough-ass boat. You know, I, it really is. Polycarbonate, it's a tough material. You know, I hit a duck with this boat. That's where these dings right here come from. I hit a duck. I've crashed this boat countless, countless times. 80, 80 plus, 85, 84, 83, 85 miles per hour. And it's a wonder the boat's even still here. It's a wonder it didn't sink to the bottom. You know what I'm saying? You know, I've got, I ran it over with another boat. It's time for a new haul. All right. So, um, you know, I'm going to get this stuff into about, I'm going to put it in a new one. Okay. Uh, it should be cool. It should be cool to see the boat run with, without the blueprint with only the trim tabs when we get the hydra installed you know what i'm saying i mean i cracked it i've got the whole inside carbon kevlar all the way down the seam you guys i've done a lot of freaking work to this damn boat you guys i finally got it right and i'm hoping i'm hoping i can get the new one dialed in like i had this one dialed in yes she was flipping yes but every now and then i'll get some nice runs in with it and this thing's tough as freaking nails you guys uh just because this happened to my boat don't let it sway you from getting this boat because it's one tough ass boat yeah. it, it happens you know um i had this thing in the car the whole time man I, I, you know i really wanted to run it today and uh i didn't get a chance because it was so darn rough at the speed run spot so we're going to take it to the park pond tomorrow and run it i painted the front winglet right here that looks good right yeah, we're going to take it to the park pond. All right, we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Big B, we're Ironclad RC. Channel over Tinker Test and Tear Shit Up. <laughs>